Hello everyone, Fanta here. You're watching FantaVision and today we're discussing just how awful this legal battle is getting between Epic and Apple. Google's kind of a side lawsuit, whatever, but this is the main stage battle and it keeps getting worse because it's actually going to be bad for lots of people. Not just Epic anymore. This isn't just between Epic and Apple. Apple likes to pretend it is, but now Epic is just kind of looking more in a better light. I mean, they're just looking like the better company out of these two because Apple is now threatening to take the entire Unreal Engine off of the App Store. This means dozens of games, dozens of different developers are now, they're not going to be able to develop on the App Store anymore. They're not going to be able to update their games. They're not going to be able to create more games in the Unreal Engine and they're going to completely wipe Epic off of the App Store. This is just too much. This is punishing people who are not part of this. There's nothing wrong with the Unreal Engine being used on the App Store. These other companies are not putting in these different ways of getting around paying that 30% fee to Apple. Those other companies are not doing anything wrong. So now they're being looped into this battle and it really is looking like an us versus them thing, just like Epic was saying in the beginning. In my last video, I was talking about how I hate all three of the companies, Apple, Epic, and Google. They're all bad, I'm not on a side. But now, it, uh, how can you not be on Epic's side at this point? Because it's just showing how monopolistic that Apple really is. The fact that they're willing to harm all of these smaller developers, even developers that are on their own Apple game subscription service just because they want Epic to bow down to the monopoly. I get they broke the terms of service. That is not good. But punishing all these other people doesn't make any sense. Google's not doing this. Why is Apple doing this? And again, the thing is about a lot of people don't know this, but the App Store is the only way to get legitimate apps on your iPhone. That is your only place where you can get things. On Google, you can install apps from literally anywhere. You cannot do that on an iPhone unless you jailbreak it. And jailbreaking is against the terms of service for Apple. So you can't just be like, oh, people can jailbreak it. That's a way that people can... No, that doesn't count because we're talking about just normal everyday users that are in normal everyday developers that are going to be now punished because of Epic breaking the rules. Now, it seems like Apple might try to be doing the whole punish the whole classroom type deal, if you know what I mean, where if one student is does something wrong, now the rest of the class has to deal with that issue. All the other Unreal Engine games out there having to pay the price because Epic made a mistake. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I've always hated that way of discipline as a child, and now as an adult seeing this with companies and people that have their livelihoods at stake, it's just pathetic. Apple's stance here is just, it just keeps getting worse. Before I understood them taking the game off, that's fine, you took Fortnite off, it broke the rules. But destroying all of these other people's work and threatening their livelihoods, I don't see how Apple thinks that this could put them in a good light, how this could make their case for, oh, we're just upholding the terms of services. No, they're not doing that anymore. They are going above and beyond and they are threatening within 14 days if they do not get rid of this new direct payment system, they're gonna take all these games off the App Store, they're going to stop letting them develop Unreal Engine games, and they're not gonna let them update their games anymore. Now, I said that they're gonna take the games off the App Store, I'm not sure if that's the case, but that's what it's sounding like, because they're just removing the entire Unreal Engine from the App Store. And something else you gotta think about and I, I haven't seen any articles covering this, and I don't think anyone is going to, is the fact that there are probably people right now that are developing games in the Unreal Engine, hoping to put it on the App Store. People that have spent years on their games, about to launch it. Can you imagine being this person? Imagine being in a developer's shoes where you're about to launch a game, and then all of a sudden, your engine is no longer allowed on the App Store. You are no, not even that, you're not even able to continue to work on that game for the App Store. That's ridiculous. That is just too much from Apple. That is too much overreach. And I, I have to agree that there should not be a monopoly on apps. You should be able to download apps anywhere for your iPhone. This has been the problem with Apple for 
ever since the beginning of apples they're such closed systems they want to control every single thing that the user is allowed to do and i have a huge problem with that they're, i mean they tried to pass laws where people could not even fix their own apple computers they had to take them to specifically apple licensed approved people people should be allowed to do whatever they want with their phone with their computer it's theirs now they're acting like it's a digital product where they still are giving you the rights to use something instead of you just owning it i can open up my computer and do whatever the hell i want to it but if i owned a mac i wouldn't be allowed to do that this quote right here sums it up and i don't think they're overstating this the damage will be unquantifiable and irreparable if they really do pull down the unreal engine permanently like if epic does not stand down and they lose this legal battle. Hundreds and hundreds of people that are either working on their games right now or have games on the App Store, their livelihoods are going to be in jeopardy. How they make money is going to cease to exist because they can no longer update their games or do anything with the Unreal Engine and Apple products. And if we want to quantify this into numbers about how important this is for these developers, $60 billion have been spent on the App Store in Apple and Google's only 30 billion. So that that's the, that is their income right there. And you're taking that away from so many people that did not do anything wrong. They did not break any of the rules. They've been paying their 30%, but just because you have this legal battle with Epic, you're going to punish all these other people. I don't think it's right. I think Apple needs to reconsider this. And the thing is, is because Epic has come out and said this. We could say, "Oh, well, Epic's just making this up." But Apple has not given a statement on this. As of the recording of this, Apple has not said anything about it. They've, people have been requesting statements, and because they're not responding, it's obviously true. Or it's going through some sort of legalese type thing where they're going to come out and come, say some statement that makes it not sound as bad, or they're going to come out with their own thing saying, oh, well, you should hate Epic because they're the ones that are causing all this. No, you overstepped. You went way too far you had a big knee-jerk reaction you are trying to blackmail epic by saying hey if you don't follow our guidelines you are not only punishing yourself but you are going to punish all these other people and it's going to be your fault when honestly it's not it simply isn't i really hope apple takes this back again keep fortnite off if that's the thing that is causing the problem keep it off i don't care that's fine but all these other people do not deserve what you're doing to them. I'll let you guys know as the situation develops. If you guys have any interest in this, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments. Do you think it's okay for Apple to be doing this to so many people that have done nothing wrong? I mean, it just seems, it seems too much to me. Like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys.